in this video i would like to tell you how to revise so what is the need to revise is the revision why is it so important why should we spend some time on this is we have generally two types of skill sets skill generally uh, some of the subjects or some of the skills they are perishable and some of the skills are non perishable especially the skills or the knowledge which you acquire by doing learning by doing so if you learn by doing something then they are called uh, they become non perishable in the sense they will they will go into your brain so deep that you can never erase them for example swimming once you learn swimming you are not going to forget it for you know forever and once you learn cycling you are not you are never going to forget it therefore such skills are called non perishable and whatever skills you acquire by reading just by reading or just by watching or listening all these skills become perishable perishable means uh, if you don't if you if you are not in constant touch with them there is a chance that you will forget everything therefore you should be in continuous constant touch with them and continuously be revising them if you don't want to forget them right so so what i mean to say is if you know at least if if you have an exam after one year and if you are reading throughout this year and now uh, how you will never you will not be able to remember whatever you have learned one year back therefore it is not just important that you learn new things you should continuously be revising the old things otherwise it is as good as not learning anything it is very important see the difference between success and failure lies in how well you are able to remember the things you have learned see what is the use in knowing everything and not being able to recollect in the exam so it is it is a disaster isn't it so just to avoid this we should discuss we you should know how to uh, revise now when i talk about revision there are generally few questions or or you know few things that you should know about the you know about it first thing is how many times how many times should i revise a topic right so uh, this is this means if you are learned a topic today how many times you should be revising it before the exam so that you you will you will be confident that yes i remember it and second thing is what is the duration between each revision session so let me call it as gapping so what how much gap should we put between two revision sessions which means if i revise it today then after how many days should i again revise it and the third question is what time of the day what time of the day should should i revise a topic is it better to revise early in the morning or during the uh, day time or in the evening or before the uh, bed so these questions have been Uh, asked by many many researchers and there is there is a lot of research that has been done on this and main research and the results were obtained by these two uh, professors and they are doctors actually they have a phd in this area of neurobiology one is uh, professor terence and other is uh, other professor's name is um, i am not able to recollect her name so these two are the terence and uh, i i don't i i don't recollect her name so terence and the other professor what they did is they conducted experiments on the students as well as teachers as well as on animals mainly these uh, monkeys and apes who which are close to human beings and this science goes very deep i don't want to get into the neurobiology but then i just want to discuss about the results that they have uh, you know that they uh, they proposed and they said that Uh, the best uh, the times number of times you should you 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 should uh, revise that depends on how much how how far is your exam is for example if you are having an exam after 4 years then obviously you might have to uh, revise more times more number of times compared to uh, the amount of na- number of times you revise if the exam is just one year away so depending on how much time you have for the exam this this factor will vary and the other factor that influences the number of times is the gap so depending on the gap you are giving between two preparation sessions two revision sessions the number of times will increase or it will decrease now what is the best gap i'll discuss about it and then what time so all these things have been discussed by these uh, people uh, at a very uh, at a very good depth in their books 
so i'll just summarize it here first thing is you have to maintain a journal or a what a planner whatever you call it some people call it diary or some people call it a planner it will be like this so if you are watching it will be like this july 15th and july 16th like this so buy this book which will be handy very handy and what you write what you do is like this if you are reading a topic today for example if you are if you are reading hmm, let's say in digital today you are learning about number system so you finished it let's say you have finished completely the number system or at least some part of it so whatever you have learned today right let's say today's date is 1st july something just for example okay so 1st july then what you do is in your journal just go to one week after that so if, if today is 1st july maybe go to 8th july 8th july with seven days gap seven days gap and then you schedule the revision there which means on that day on that page you are supposed to set an alarm so you can even use the digital calendars like google calendars and all but then i feel that uh, having a book handy is always preferable compared to the digital version so anything that works for you is good so now after this uh, after this like in here you can put this digital number system right which means you are going to read some topic today then you are going to revise it exactly after 7 days right and then after that again after 7 days again you put it digital number system now they said that you know you have to increase the gap therefore you can put it 7 days or you can sometimes put it 15 days also so what they said is you should continuously be increasing the gap but i felt that 7 days would be good but i i didn't do any research on it so let's follow their method so it is 7 days here and then 15 days here again you put the same topic and then from then onwards from there you have to put it every one month so from there every 30 days again you write it every 30 days till till you you reach the exam date okay till you reach one week before the exam one week before the exam anyway you are going to revise everything but you put it this way that is how the gap should be decided now depending on the gap the number of sessions you get these revision sessions for a topic that depends on how much duration you have and how much gap you are giving so that is what answers first these two questions and the second question third question is what is the best time of the day uh, during which you should really revise so again these researchers they answered it this way it seems that our brain has a tendency uh, or they divided our brain into two parts so they have given names and all i'm not getting into the neurobiology so frontal cortex and then uh, the names are there i'm not getting into this so what they did is they roughly divided into two parts now they said that whenever we read something that generally grows it goes into the front portion of your brain and that is a that you can compare it with ram ram of a computer right and when we sleep the information will get transformed and gets into the other other part of the brain which is equivalent to the hard disk the secondary memory which is permanent right and this transformation happens during during our sleeping hours therefore <coughs> they said that best time to revise will be before you sleep which means uh, let's say you are sleeping at 10 pm then it is better that you read from 9 to 10 <clears throat> from 9 pm to 10 pm if you can read something then that will initially go into your ram later it will be sent to the hard disk okay i mean ram and hard disk are two portions of your brain they have given some good names for that okay so this is the way you gap the uh, you you schedule your revision and you can finish everything off now uh, the, now if you look at the number of times what is better is the more number of times you revise it is better that way so if you are if you are starting off let's say 6 months or 6 months before the exam or let's say one year before the exam obviously these numbers will work but if you are having only one or two months and if you are starting off now let's say you are you are now in december and you just started preparing for gate and the exam is in february then it is better that you sh you, you you get these sessions as many as possible therefore in that case you have to schedule the uh, revision uh, in a very 
very frequent manner in the sense don't give one month gap every seven days you put it every seven days you put it therefore you are going to get lot of revision sessions right and moreover the number of topics that you might have to revise on one day will accumulate and you know in a cumulative manner they are going to increase therefore even if you start off with one hour initially if you dedicate only one hour gradually you might have to dedicate two hours so i found out that first time revision if you are if it took let's say four five hours for you to learn a topic it will take roughly half an hour to revise it for the first time and second time when you are revi revising it it will just the time of time for revision will just you know be half which means for the second time revision it will take only 15 minutes for the third time it will take 5 minutes and you can reach a reach a position where you can just look at the page and you need not read everything you just you can just skim through the notes in in maybe uh, half an hour or so entire book a, a book of 200 pages you can skim through this in half an hour if you if you are doing this revision frequently see the main the main secret for success is not how much you learn it is how good you have prepared the notes and how much of that notes is in your brain that's what so how much can you apply whatever you have learned and in the exam how much can you recollect these are very very important so coming to computer science you, you need not worry too much about the revision because there is nothing to remember except the concepts so you need not by heart anything that is one good thing if you if you go to any other exams like um, if you look at this uh, bi biology subject biology and if you see this uh, doctors entrance exam that mbbs entrance test they will contain lots of uh, things which should be uh, memorized and uh, it is very very difficult for them and they have to schedule this revision very very frequently but as computer science students since everything is logical and it is common sense you need not worry too much this one will work 7 days 15 days 30 days will work and one hour per day i think is good enough if you are doing it you know uh, well in advance like if you have started your preparation 6 months before the exam it is good enough okay so this is how you should follow it fine